Hey friends, in today's video, we're taking a look at one of the new features in the recently released DxO Photolab 9, something I didn't get to cover in my initial review, the ability to apply precise denoising and sharpening through local adjustments. It's a unique feature that none of Photolab's competitors offer, and it really can make a difference in image quality. So let's dive in and see how it works. If you've been using DxO for a while, you already know two of its biggest strengths, Deep Prime, which removes noise and recovers fine detail from raw images while keeping textures and colors natural, and Lens Sharpness Optimization, which automatically corrects softness and optical blur based on your exact camera lens combo to deliver crisper and more detailed shots. But while both tools are excellent and industry leading in noise reduction and sharpening respectively, they're not perfect. To demonstrate some of the problems, Let's work on this raw image. As you can see, it was shot at an ISO of over 50,000. Zooming in, you can clearly see all the ugly grain in the photo. So let's turn on denoising. I'll navigate to the detail panel. I'll choose D Prime XD2, which I find to be the most effective model for cleaning up noise. Then I'll increase the luminance slider to get the cleanest possible result. For sharpness enhancement, I'll turn on the Lens Sharpness tool. I'll increase the intensity slider to get maximum sharpness. Now looking at the viewer, you might think it's not really doing anything, or the result is not impressive enough. But that's only because DxO doesn't show an accurate preview of the denoising in the main viewer, presumably due to the intensive processing required to produce a real-time update. To see the real effect, DxO provides a loop tool which works similar to a magnifying glass. I'll click the tool, and as I drag around the image, you can really see the difference. The loop tool gives you an accurate preview, and it really shows you how powerful Deep Prime is at cleaning up the image. That said, it is not perfect. Dragging over the grass, you can see it has been over smoothened with a lot of lost details. For this area, it would be better to dial down the denoising to preserve those details, but doing so would also bring back more noise in other parts of the image. Inspecting the woman, you can also see how lens sharpness has introduced ugly halos and artifacts in her face, making for an unnatural result. In this case, dialing down the lens sharpness would work better, but again, that would introduce softness to the rest of the image. So as you can see, in some cases, Relying only on global adjustments means you have to make a compromise. Do you lower the denoising to keep more detail but end up with a noisier image? Or do you reduce the lens sharpening to avoid artifacts but get a softer overall result? Those were the trade-offs you had to deal with in the previous versions of DxO Photolab. Well, the good news is in DxO Photolab 9, that's no longer the case. You can now control both noise reduction and lens sharpness through local adjustments, so there are no more compromises. To demonstrate, I'll head over to the local adjustment panel. I'll reduce the denoising effect on just the grass to bring back more of its natural texture. Thanks to Photolab 9's new AI masking, selecting the grass is super easy. I'll grab the object selection tool, and with just one click, the grass is automatically masked, with a new adjustment layer created. Scrolling down the local adjustment panel, you'll see the new denoising section. Luminance is set pretty high right now, matching the value of the global setting. I'll go ahead and lower it. And the effect of this is the currently applied global adjustment will be overridden by the local adjustment. Next, let's mask the faces. This part is pretty straightforward. I'll start by creating a new adjustment layer then use one of DxO's presets to generate the mask. I'll select people from the control, and just like that, all the subjects are automatically selected. Now I'll use a brush to erase the body, since I want the adjustment to apply primarily to just the head, and you can hold Option or Alt while brushing to erase. Next, I'll reduce the intensity slider. There, the edit is done. Let's perform the export. 
Here is a comparison of the original image with the version that used only global corrections where denoising and sharpening were applied across the entire image. As you can see, just by itself, it's already a standout result. And now, here's a comparison between the global only version and the one with local corrections applied. Only the image with local corrections manages to get the best of both worlds. It's clean and sharp overall while keeping the natural texture in the grass and avoiding those sharpening artifacts. Bravo! Let's move on to a second example. Here we've got another noisy raw image shot at an ISO of around 40,000. Once again, I'll dial up denoising and sharpening to get a clean, crisp look. Next, I'll use the loop tool to check different parts of the image to see if there are any problems. While the overall result looks great, there are still a few areas we can refine. Looking at the building, some of the textures appear a bit too smooth from too much denoising. And inspecting the people, you'll notice some unwanted sharpening artifacts and halos similar to the previous example, making them look a little synthetic. So let's fix these issues with local adjustments. I'll start off by masking the buildings using object selection. I'll reduce the luminance slider. Next, I'll mask the people. I'll reduce lens sharpening. And there you go, the edit is done. Here is the original image compared to the version with only global corrections applied. Again, it's a huge improvement. And now here's a comparison between the global only version and the one with local corrections applied. You can see it's even better. With local corrections, we were able to control how much texture to keep in the buildings while reducing those ugly facial artifacts, which used to be one of the biggest issues with the lens sharpness tool. Not anymore. So that's how you can make precise denoising and sharpening adjustments using local corrections, yet another powerful new feature in the latest DxO Photo Lab 9. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of this new feature. Do you find it useful? Or would you rather just stick with global adjustments? Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.